Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a jawbreaker haul. I haven't done a jawbreaker haul maybe ever on my channel. I've definitely bought from them before but I'm not sure if I've hauled them before so that's what today's video is going to be. I've got five items, really excited to show you them. Kind of half good, half bad I would say so yeah if that sounds interesting to you maybe you're looking for reviews of these pieces because I've really struggled to find YouTube reviews of any of their clothing. So I do hope this is helpful um, and we will get straight into the video. So I've got three dresses and two cardigans. I'm definitely sending two of them back and I'm definitely keeping two of them and then one of them I'm not really too sure about but I'm going to go through everything in this video so all of the details I'll also have a try on after I've talked about each piece so you can kind of see what it looks like on someone and I also go through like quality sizing and basically everything <laughs> I've bought from Jawbreaker like a really long time ago I have the bug dress the skull cardigan the Ouija board kind of dress like a lot of their older pieces and I really liked their nautical ranges i've talked about them before on my channel and i might have included them in a collective haul because i bought the gorgeous like rose dress i'll put a photo of it on the screen i'll put it here <laughs> um so this dress i bought and i just absolutely fell in love with it i've worn it twice already and i love it it's so like flowy so kind of witchy because it's all long and it, in the wind it like blows really nicely <laughs> and it just makes you feel like really really cool um and i also include a photo again here of how i styled it i put it with like a like a harness style belt with some jewelry and my pointy shoes as well and it just looked really really cool and that dress kind of made me fall in love with jawbreaker all over again because i used to like them when i was a lot younger so i went back and had a look at what they had and there were a few pieces that stood out to me um, and also i am not impressed with killstar at the moment and i'm trying to get something sorted and if it doesn't get sorted i will be making a whole video on it so there's that rant to come but it also made me want to kind of buy from other brands as well i will start with the piece that actually made me place the order up is actually one i'll be sending back and also all of this stuff was in the sale they usually have like up to 60 percent off sales every so often so i did buy this stuff all in the sale and this is called the pinstripe something dress with waist belt and this was 35 pounds sale price and i also got an extra 10 percent off using a discount code so i probably got it for just over 30 pounds and it's this dress and it's such a shame because i feel like it had potential <laughs> but it's basically it's very very simple but it's a pinstripe black and white dress so I feel like a lot of people think of me when they think of stripes. I've had those comments a lot. <laughs> so I feel like this was definitely like up my street, but unfortunately it's the sizing and the length of it that just isn't right for me. So the details of this is it's got these like really thick straps. They're not adjustable, which is such a shame because that could have made a difference. And then the chest has kind of these outlines and it's got seams almost like bra cups or something but they're not like lined with anything it's just kind of an effect to give a flattering look and unfortunately these are too big as well they don't look right um, and then the rest of it it kind of goes in at the waist and then kind of goes down into an a-line style dress and that's it basically it's very very simple it does also come with a waist belt as well so i will talk about this in a moment but it's not the best <laughs> so yeah so that's the details of this dress it's very it's basically a striped a-line dress with a belt now my problem with this is size wise it fit nicely on the waist and the hips like it was quite flattering it didn't cling to anything i don't know why but i thought this was going to be more of like a bodycon dress um and it wasn't like that at all it was flattering in the waist and then it just kind of went straight down so it wasn't the most flattering silhouette um and also the chest was way too big on me the straps were really long so it just didn't look right and as i said these like seams just didn't sit right on me um and i do get all my stuff in jawbreak in a medium now i'm usually a small i'm a small in like killstar hollister 
um, an 8 to 10 in New Look, a small in H&M if this is helping, a small in Primark. Like generally I am a small but sometimes I will be a size down or a size up depending on the brand. For some reason in Jawbreaker I'm usually a size medium and I even got my older pieces from Jawbreaker in a medium. So I'm not sure if they come up a bit smaller. I can't really size down in this and get a small because the waist would be too tight and i feel like then it would be clingy so it's just a shame and i also feel like this dress came up longer than me than the model and that's another thing i feel like jawbreaker use quite tall models because i've noticed that every length of these pieces hasn't looked the same and i can understand that obviously you're not going to get someone exactly like your size to model the clothing but i think that's where some of the issues came up is that i really liked the length on them and then it was just a bit too long on me that it didn't look as flattering and i do think that's the case with this little bit but it's mainly the chest that has the issues so i definitely say the kind of waist and hips on this is like an 8 slash 10 and the chest is definitely a 10, maybe a 12. Um, so it's just a little bit inconsistent with the sizing, but obviously it is quite hard to get it to fit everyone because everyone is different. <laughs> Quality wise, this is really nice. Um, it's made from a really thick material. Okay, so it's 55% viscose, 40% polyester, 5% elastane, but it's really thick. Like this is one layer of it and i think yeah even if you stretch it you can't see through it. it's a really really nice thick high quality feeling material and all of the stitching and even inside looks really really neat so that's always good and you don't get that with every brand <laughs> um and even the stitching like inside on the chest is really really neat um so yeah i do think the quality of this one is nice like with the dress but the sizing was just off for me and the length so that was the main problem with this one and this definitely is a very cheap belt um you can kind of see by the way it's folded when i got it out i almost felt like it was cardboard like a thickish cardboard with like a fake leather lining it like it just doesn't feel good quality at all if i'm honest um it looks like it's got metal but it doesn't really feel like metal i think you can tell by the look of it like the way it's creased so easily it's just not a very good quality belt when it's on you it feels fine um and it's got eyelets so it would kind of go like this around you like the aesthetic of it is nice but it's not the best quality like i've had belts by sheen like when i used to buy from them which now i don't <laughs> and i don't recommend that you do either but they've been nice quality so not a fan of the belt but the dress is really high quality so that was the first one um, and that one will be going back <laughs> other item that i'm also definitely sending back i know we're starting with a little bit of the negatives but at least we can end on a positive um and this dress is called the rose vine screen print midi dress uh, again i got them all in a size medium which is a uk size 10 so i got them all in that size and i got this one for 31 pounds 50 before the 10 percent off and when i saw it on the model it's it looks really pretty and it looks really like alternative and i feel like if you had a bunch of tattoos this would look really cool as well um but it's quite a long dress so it's got kind of these strappy straps and these are adjustable which i appreciate and then it's got this screen printed design and i love this design like it's got an eye it's got roses and vines and it's like a white print on black material there's a moon down there and then on the side of the top part it's got this lacing which i think is really cool like it's a really cool detail so that would sit like on the side under the armpit so it just gives it more of like a i don't know just a little bit more detail than just a normal kind of black dress and it does have that on either side it goes down a bit more and you've got the waist seam line i don't really understand why this cuts off maybe it's because the print wouldn't stick well to where it joins up or something but i do feel like having the gap does look a bit strange and i didn't really notice 
that in the photos it was only when i put it on i was like i feel like that would look nicer if the print actually joined up but then the print down here so this is kind of where your stomach would be it's got a rose more vines and i love this detail i didn't see this at first but it is a death head moth with some kind of wilted flowers and there's also one over there as well it's just a really pretty print and then on the left hand side you've got a slit and these strings are like from the waist so you can adjust them and then the back of it is just plain black when i got this dress out the bag i was really excited about it because it looked so cool um and because i got that other midi dress from them and i loved it so much i really wanted another one because i realized that midi dresses look kind of weird on me if they don't have the slit up the side because they just kind of give me no shape whereas if they have the slit you can see your legs so it just i don't know it just looks a bit better i don't know if that's a short people problem or what but i've just kind of found that out um and i am five foot two if i hadn't said that already yeah so i put it on and immediately it felt very clingy not tight where it would feel too tight but especially like the chest felt fine like not too tight but not too loose and then from like under the bust to the hips it felt very clingy and like noticeable noticeable yeah noticeable like not too tight but you know it's on you <laughs> i don't know if i'm describing this very well um but I, I could just it wasn't the most flattering look i don't think and i feel like where the print cuts off it doesn't look that flattering it's almost like you want to belt it but because of the sides you can't because then you'd be like covering up the um lace up panels on the side because i did try it with some belts i was like no it's too much the dress is too long there's just something that doesn't look right about it and i think it's also a height problem because on the model it came down to just below her knee and it was definitely like that midi length whereas me it's kind of more like a maxi dress i don't know i just don't feel like it was the most flattering thing on me like it wasn't the worst thing by any means like i could keep this one but i didn't love it again it's more like a sizing problem for this the chest of this it fits me well whereas the pinstripe one it's way too big so there's definitely some sizing inconsistencies there i'd say it's a nice dress probably nicer if you're a bit taller but quality wise again this is really nice the print feels really nice you can definitely feel it's on there because it is a screen print it's not like a digital print and this material they've used again really nice only see-through if you stretch it like a lot so it just is it just feels like a really nice quality and that was my immediate thought when i got it out of the bag as well like how nice of a quality this one is so their quality does seem nice it just kind of seems like there's some sizing inconsistencies and yeah this one's 95 percent cotton five percent elastic which is what i thought like it feels like cotton so yeah, it's, it's a very pretty dress, but I just don't think it's for me. <laughs> the one that i'm not sure about and then we'll finish with the ones that i'm definitely keeping and also my favorite item so i don't know why but recently i've been really into the things that i wouldn't like when i was younger so when i was younger i wore like all black no color i also had brown hair so a lot of colors clashed with my hair whereas now i've got black hair i can wear color like i'm wearing purple today like purple makeup and it still looks dark whereas when i would have like it was blondy brown hair and i tried to do like a green makeup look or a purple it just didn't look right so i definitely did like all black i did white eyeshadow black eyeliner and then i don't even know what lipstick i wore at that time i wasn't really super into lipstick i don't think yeah there was a lot of things that i have not liked for a while i've never been super into pink i wear some pink now but it's definitely alongside a lot of black but one thing that i really 
don't like is gold and I've kind of been getting into gold a bit recently haven't seen any looks I've done but they are coming <laughs> so yeah I've just been kind of more into the things that I didn't like when I was younger but before I went like alternative or goth I was super obsessed with leopard print and snake print <laughs> like stupidly obsessed like I had like leopard print bangles that I'd wear all up my arms in different colours I remember I had like a leopard print and a snakeskin purse <laughs> I don't know why but I was super into it and I'm not into normal leopard print but I think if it has a colour like red leopard print or purple leopard print I think it can look quite cool and almost a bit like punk I suppose and I've seen some red leopard print and I'm like, I don't hate that, you know? <laughs> and then I saw this cardigan. And to be honest, it is a really nice cardigan. And this one is called the Man Eater <laughs> Red Leopard Print Oversized Cardigan. And again, I got this in a medium. I probably would have been better with this in a small. I didn't actually read that it was oversized, so that's why. Because when I held it up, I was like, this is huge. It almost looks like a large or an extra large. But it's basically a really kind of cosy cardigan um it also comes with a spare button which is nice but it's got this like i don't know what you'd call this almost like a ribbed kind of material okay so this is actually what it's like color wise <laughs> i'm glad my camera's done that because it was looking very bright red and this is definitely more of like a deep almost like a cherry pinky kind of red so this is the this is more accurate color wise of what this is um not this this looks very blood red this is a bit lighter actually than what it is my camera doesn't like reds so it's really hard for them to show up properly um but yeah so it's basically a, a cardigan <laughs> it's got button holes on one side it does have pockets which is cute and then on the other side it's got these like thick black buttons that are kind of like plastic but they're very plasticky um but i guess buttons are plastic and it's got five of those along the other side um and then the sleeves are just normal and they are cuffed at the end so in the photo i saw the model wearing it and i know it's such a stupid like reason to want this but i love when things are like so fluffy and they're like a blanket and you can just like wrap yourself up in it and this kind of gave me that vibe because when you see this sleeve it just looks really really fluffy <laughs> i know that's like such a small detail but when i see that i'm like oh my gosh that must be so fluffy and unfortunately like this is actually really soft but it's not as cozy as i thought it would be i thought this would be more of like a winter cardigan um but it's definitely quite thin like it's not the thinnest thing but i'd say this is definitely more warmer winter or like spring and autumn it's a nice cardigan though it feels nice quality wise the only thing i would say is i did find a loose thread on the shoulder when i was wearing it oh yeah here which isn't the best and it's quite a big one i feel like this could be attached to something and it might pull on something um it's not the best but that's the only one i found and like the rest of it does look really nice so yeah it's just basically a big oversized cozy cardigan i'd say it comes to like mid thigh again it is nice it does feel like a nice quality apart from that thread but i kind of wasn't sure why i was getting this i think i like the idea of like when you're wearing a going out outfit kind of like this and then you're a bit cold to just kind of wrap up in a cardigan but I don't know if in reality I would do that. <laughs> I think I'd probably just get changed and then put on a jumper and some leggings or something. So I like this. Shame about the th random thread. But I do think it's a nice cardigan overall. But I'm not sure about this because I'm not sure where I would wear this. You'd have to wear quite a plain outfit I feel like to wear something like this. And I don't know if I would be doing that. So that's why I'm a bit unsure about this. I will probably end up sending it back to be honest. But I, I did want to see what it was like. And I was hoping it would be like a bit more fluffy and a little bit more cosy. But it's not really what I was expecting I don't think. And sizing wise I'd say you could definitely size down for that one. I feel like a small maybe would have looked a bit better. Because um, I can definitely like cross it over. <laughs> so yeah there is that.
two items left. I'll go through the next cardigan and then I've got my favourite dress last. <laughs> Now, this cardigan, I have to find the email, is called the Lace Knit Long Cardigan. Again, same size, and this one was £34. Now, this, I was humming and hawing about it. Like, it was probably the one I would have taken out the cart because I was trying to get my order a bit down, but I was like, I'll just buy everything and then send back what I don't like. But this just gave me, like, autumn cardigan vibes, like, witchy pumpkin spice latte in hand. <laughs> vibes <laughs> i don't know why i think it's just like the whole knitted look of it like it's not knitted but because it's got these holes in it kind of has a knitted effect and also because of that and because it's got holes in it's probably not something you'd wear in winter because you'd be too cold so it just looks like a nice witchy autumnal cardigan and i could picture this over like a dress with some winkle pickers as i said pumpkin spice latte in hand and i just liked the aesthetic of this this might be a bit difficult to show you but hopefully i can show you a bit better in the try on but it's a very long cardigan but not too long i'll put a try on so you can definitely see exactly the kind of length that is on me but it is a really nice length without being too long but also not too short um and yeah so it would kind of just sit on you like this so you could see all of the holes there the sleeves are really cool and i wasn't sure if i would like these but they're actually a really good length on me so they start off like normal sleeves they're quite not tight but they're definitely like form fitting to your arm without being uncomfortable or tight or anything and then from the wrist they flare out into this <laughs> and this is just what gives me like the witchy vibes and I wasn't sure if this would annoy me, but I actually really like it. It just gives a cardigan like a different, unique look to it. I wear a lot of cardigans, but I always get them from like H&M or New Look. And I just refuse to pay like 40 or £50 pounds for a cardigan because I think it's just so overpriced. But I saw this one and I think I said it was like 34 and I also got 10% off. And I just wanted like a nice going out cardigan, not just a black one that's kind of falling apart. Um, so I feel like this would be really really good yeah so the sleeves are really unique and then i liked the kind of i don't even know what you'd call it like the bottom of the cardigan the way it's been cut so if i hold this up i don't know what you'd call this it's not like asymmetrical but it comes down into points which again gives it that witchy look to it yeah like i liked how it kind of goes down into different points it's not like a boring kind of just straight across cardigan and i think this the material and the sleeves just gives it that witchy look which i really really like so i do like this i'm the only thing i wasn't like crazy about is it does actually have ties that you might have spotted um and these are attached on the waist i would say um and they're just some black ties and you can tie it together when i tie it together it doesn't look the best it, it kind of looks a bit like shapeless in a way but i feel like you could use this to your advantage because sometimes i like cardigans that just like add some detail to my arms but don't cover up the dress but you could use these and i did try it out you can tie it up quite loosely behind you so you can take the ties and then tie it behind you and it will stop the cardigan from like just closing on you so i'll probably use these for that because i think that just kind of has the look I want like having the sleeves and like the witchiness and the bottom of the cardigan looking really cool but without it like covering all of my dress or my outfit so I think there is some use to those and I think that's how I'll use it but I was just really pleased with this and again the quality of this is really nice it feels really soft um, it feels well made. I'm not sure what the materials are of this. It's 70% viscose, 30% nylon. But it, it just feels very like cosy, very soft. Um, it's not fluffy or anything. Yeah, the quality seems nice. Sizing is good. Yeah, really pleased with this. And I can already see some lovely autumnal outfits that I will pair with this.
and the last item I'm so excited about. So I actually placed this order because of the pinstripe dress and while I was like having a look I was just like I'll have one final look before I check out just in case there's something I missed and I saw this dress and I was like how have I not bought that before? <laughs> like I feel like this is such a me dress um, and I think it's because the photos of the models are quite far away I think on the website like when you're just scrolling through and I think I just saw like a bunch of colour and assumed it was like a tattoo dress I don't know what I was thinking but it's definitely not a tattoo dress and it's so so cool um, and this was actually the last item I added and I added it just like an add-on and it's my favourite so I'm really glad I saw this one and this is called Dancing with the Dead mini dress again same size and this was actually the cheapest <laughs> this was £21.25 which I feel like is an amazing price for a dress I feel like that's really good I also got 10% off that as well this is gorgeous <laughs> I will show you it before I talk about it even more <laughs> like look how cool this is <laughs> i've never seen anything like this um i'm calling it the medieval dress <laughs> um i just i love it it's not just that i love the print i love the style and oh, i don't even know where to start with this one i'm just so excited so i'll start with the details and then i'll talk about why i love it so much so it does have strappy straps and they are adjustable which is perfect and then it's a very similar dress to the rose dress that i showed you at the beginning because it's that mesh on top of a black kind of slip dress so you've got this layer and then you've got this layer kind of like what i'm wearing today but they're separate whereas this has been sewn in um so you do have this sewn in from the chest and then it kind of flares out from the waist i would say so yeah it's a very similar style to that it's like that dress but it's been made shorter which is perfect <laughs> so yeah very similar style i'd say the neckline it's not as much of a v-neck it's more of like a square but slightly curved <laughs> Um, and then it's just a a-line dress it goes in at the waist and then kind of goes down a bit sometimes find like the pinstripe dress it goes out too much from the hips where it can kind of make you lose your shape whereas this is almost in between a bodycon and an a-line so it's a bit tighter without being like full-on bodycon i'll show you the print up close so we've got skulls we've got these like i don't know what like time period this would be from it almost looks kind of tudory to me it's, we've got clocks almost like a memento mori theme going on with the hourglass so that's on the kind of chest and then the waist has this i'm not crazy about the brand name like right on the middle but it does kind of blend in so i'm not too mad it says jawbreaker there and then the skirt is really cool they're all dancing which i think is really cool and it, you've got like a church in the background i just love this and the reason i said tudor is like they kind of look tudory like especially these ones down there but i could be wrong so do you let me know it could be um older maybe than the tudors and it's got some writing i'm assuming that could be latin down there it's just like a really old looking dress and then the back of it has more of the print actually the back's the exact same it's a bit off center because i'm holding it a bit wrong but yeah the back is exactly the same i've only just noticed that so yeah actually the placement of that is really good I feel like for some brands they would have like this maybe off to the side because some brands really struggle to get the print to match up like <laughs> like this one with the crow flying <laughs> upside down like it's a lot more common than you would think so I appreciate that this is all centered it's not like oh it depends on what cut you get maybe jawbreaker will be like sat on your hip or something like I appreciate that this has all been lined up it joins really nicely it's so flattering like so flattering i find bodycon dresses aren't always for me i sometimes find them either they're really flattering and they like accentuate my waist and like just 
flow over me really nicely or they're way too clingy like around the stomach around the hips where it just doesn't look good and this is like the first one <laughs> like it just flows down doesn't cling to any areas is really flattering gives you a good shape and it's just such a unique dress and such a flattering dress so i'm really i'm really happy with this and if i could keep only one thing it would be this i'm really impressed with this and i'm so glad i picked this up quality wise again it feels really lovely the mesh they use is so soft and i have worn that other dress and it hasn't caught on anything it's washed really well i do always wash my dresses in wash bags on 30 so i am careful with my stuff but it's washed well so yeah i'm really impressed with this and i know that this is going to do the same because it's the same material one thing you might not know about me is i love history stuff and i know that's a bit like generic but like i love history <laughs> i especially love the tudors and plague stuff which is why i like plague doctors and i just love old british history like i just love it <laughs> like great five london the plague the tudors i went to hampton court palace recently it was amazing like i love learning and seeing that type of stuff um, I also like a lot of nautical history, like all the ships. So that really fascinates me. So to get a dress that's like alternative mixed with like kind of historic images, it's perfect. <laughs> so I'm so excited. I can't wait to wear this. I would say it's called a mini dress on the model and it looks quite short on her. So I was a bit like, not concerned, but a bit like, oh, it might not look right on me, but it comes up a lot longer on me than the model and again i think it's because of the model's height but really love this dress and it's so unique as well So that was everything from Jawbreaker. Definitely some pieces that I'm not too impressed by and also some things that I absolutely love. So I'll definitely be keeping those last two items I showed you. Probably sending back the other three. But it's not that I think they're like bad items because I actually... I think they're all like really nice quality there's a few things like that belt i don't think is good quality at all and the loose thread is not great but apart from that the quality of their stuff does seem really really nice so maybe if you're getting a bit bored and fed up of the normal brands like killstar and serbia definitely check out ones like jawbreaker hell bunny i will be doing that a lot more <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video do let me know in the comments which one was your favorite um, and if you've picked up anything from jawbreaker do like this video if you enjoyed it remember to subscribe as well i know half the people watching my videos don't subscribe so please do because you will get my videos in your feed and then you can find them a lot easily e easily e easier maybe you don't want to subscribe because i can't talk <laughs> but yeah do subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye